Hello? Anybody home? Something's coming. Get ready. What was that? Prepare for a fight. I remember this. <clears throat> Didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. Who it is? The drones are back. Jesus. The hell are they doing in there? What are they eating? I don't think I want to know. Let me go. Watch out, dudes. Ow! More bombs! Oh, that was a whiff. Don't know! Damn. Just wrecked that guy. GG.
I think this will be good. Uh... Here we go. Oh, that stopped his healing. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, so those bombs are amazing. Get him, boys! Boom! Ah, <sighs> got him. What was that? Look to feed to me. Guns have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Which of you know of these things? You must. What, what's wrong with her? Easy. Shouting won't help. Calm down. Simple for you to say. How can I? That's my mother. Understand? He's on our side. Let him think. Which you? you know what is wrong with the woman? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Hans must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh. Who? Uh, a boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Uh, but first we're gonna loot. Cause lots of good stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Fiend dung. Great. That's what I wanted. Don't worry, I'll take your sword. Okay. Oh, Johnny! Where's Johnny? <laughs> oh, son of a dingus. I don't need this right now. I'm busy. I got shit to do, okay? Docs, they're too good for me. Gotcha. We got more. Whoop. Juked. Oh, not juked. Will you stop? Ugh. Get out of here. Ugh. Well, there you go. Off with your head. Oh, Johnny! 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 Not here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. There we go. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here. Fleeing something. The crones, if I'm not mistaken.
There he is. What's up, Johnny? Johnny, wake up. What's up, Holmes? Witcher! You frightened me! I thought they were those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side. I told him off. They don't like it when you tell them <laughs> off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without him? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. I see. So because we freed the spirit and the children escaped, they turned Gran into a hag. So you saw what happened to Gran. By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. I went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark in her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones totted in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down. 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 Shame it went all the way to hell. Take a look under the door. I look like a fool to you. <laughs> no. You do look like the inquisitive type, though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. Why'd the Weavess need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Bluest piped up first. Naughty boy! Oh, naughty! Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes! Then the whispers says, Run, boy! Run! Before your legs rot off! They all laughed, and I legged it! You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do. But I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide. And I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. It's interesting that we could have uh, completely skipped this entire section by just deciding not to go with the Baron. If we had been just like, eh, we're good, we gotta find Siri, that would have been it. Why does she have a nail in her head? <laughs> Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother. Took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. 
Well, we've already been down in the cellar, so... Spoiler alert. Uh, let's take a look. Can we repair? We can. Uh, this, please. It's currently at 57. Let's keep doing it. Here we go. 100%. Great. seen so many before looks unsavory what is all this the trappings of a black magic ritual witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse they gain a grasp on individual souls this way think one of the dolls represents Anna can we free her if we find it it's the only way I know of but there are risks involved the items woven into the dolls see them they symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Oh, great. You seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. <laughs> Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. <laughs> this risk you mentioned. Take it we don't get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at oh, these dolls. Oh, God. Cannot save it. No. <laughs> hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg. This cannot be the one. Uh, all right. I'll look at the others. Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it. I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. Well, that might seem obvious. But what if it's a ruse, and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Doubtful. Crones that have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Perrin once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. Hmm. You believe this to be the doll? Might very well be. But I can't be sure. Should look at the others. Human ear attached to this one. Belong to one of the peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. <laughs> what do you think? Hollyhock? I mean, it's pretty obvious that's the one that's trying to get us to choose. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, right? Hmm. This A doll with not just any... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I'm sure it is. Taking it. Quick, outside! No. Hey, look at that. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> All will be well. You're going to be fine. Damn me. I'm dying. She's not well. Raven doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. 
The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. What's she talking about, Witcher? Mm -hmm. They tricked us. Well, oh. mm. the crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. What? What does that mean? She's dying. It's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother. Tammy. Do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, so oh blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please. Remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. I roll. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. I think last time I chose the wrong one because I thought Hollyhock was. I know. Yeah, you could hear it. I know, Which right? The pain will pass in time. I'd like to believe that. I would. You may have a moment with her. Then we must go. Return to the I think last time I chose the wrong one because either I didn't get the uh, information about the hollyhock flower or I thought it was too much of a trick or something, I'm not sure. It's been a while though. That's the nice thing about this. It's been too long for me to really remember since the last time I played it, so this is all pretty new again. I did remember the relic, though. I think kicked my butt last time. Fiends. I regret to inform your grace that your grace's son fell while hunting a fiend. He died on the spot, along with his squire, his guide, the beaters, his peasant entourage, and his hounds. Fiends are walking mountains of muscle capped with horned, tooth-filled heads, like their rarer cousins, Bumbekvetches. They live in thick forests, swamps, and bogs. When possible, they avoid humans, but when not possible, they kill them, and without much difficulty. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Himself? Or did you boys help him? The fuck you take me for? A murderer? Yep. He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. 
If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. Not in a good way, I bet. Oh man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been yet another great time streaming Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I love it. I love it every time I play this game. Uh but I gotta go, gotta eat some dinner, gotta do some things tonight. Tomorrow, I will not be streaming because Mondays are my days off, but Tuesday, Geralt will be back at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, of course, if you're interested, come by and hang out then. I appreciate everybody for hanging out with me. It's always a lot of fun when you all hang out with me. It really makes the game. I appreciate the time you spend. <sighs> You're all great. You're all so awesome. And I'll catch you next time.